Hey, so we all know what inertia is. It is the property of a body to maintain its state, be it the state of rest or the state of motion, but it is a property, right? Yes, we also have understood it depends on mass. All right, all right, we have understood this. We also have taken care of the examples, right? Be it the turning of a bus where you are pushed outwards, right? Maybe the stopping of a bus where you are pushed forward, starting of any car or bus where you are pushed backwards, right? We have dealt with all these examples or dusting of a carpet, right? We have done this, all right. But the thing is, these examples are common. Everybody knows them. But my job is to give you something extra because then only you will know something which is not common and you can show off to people, right? So we should be clear with what are the unusual places where we can find inertia. And that's why we are here in this session. Inertia in unusual places. Let's begin. And let's begin in style. The aircraft carriers. Looks fancy, no? We all love to see these aircraft carriers. We have INS Vikramaditya also, right? So yes, what happens? They are built to carry aircrafts, the fighter jets, right? All right, all right. Now, have you ever noticed Whenever you are you are in an airplane, in a commercial plane, it takes a very long run up before it can take off. Yes. And when it lands, it still it takes a very long run up to just stop, right? It travels quite a lot before stopping, correct? This distance looks small though. How does a fighter jet, which is heavier also, which is faster also, are able to take off and land from this? How is it? There's a catch, and yes, literally, there is a catch. The catch is a wire. Yes, notice. Do you see? There is a wire, there is a cable. So there are four cables, and fighter jet uh, uh, pilots, they are made to land in such a way that this hook behind the plane, it can actually fit into any one of those four wires so that they can just pull the airplane back. And these are these wires are connected to hydraulic systems. So they can get appropriate tensions to stop the plane before it just goes off the aircraft carrier, right? So this is what, what is happening? Because of inertia of motion of the fighter jet, they were supposed to pull back. And who did the work? The cables, right? So the cables helped to just bring the, bring the plane to the rest as soon as possible. To to basically stop the energy of motion coming into picture and creating a harm to the plane, right? Stopping it from falling down. Now, there is one more interesting fact. When the aircraft carrier or the pilots, when the aircraft or fighter jet pilots, they land, they actually just push the throttle up. Why? Why would someone do that? If you want to stop your jet, right? Why would you just push it while landing? Reason being, if, let's say, a pilot misses any of those four wires, they have no other chance but to maintain more speed so that they can take off. So are you understanding this? They were trying to stop. Yes, their job was to fit in any of these four wires to arrest their inertia of motion. That's correct, right? And this was the work of the wires. If, let's say, a fighter jet pilot is not able to get attached to any one of these wires, they have to make sure they don't fall, which means they have to just again get more speed so that they can take off, take a round and try the landing again, right? That's the important thing. So can you imagine this, right? Not so simple the way we think of commercial airplanes. This is tricky. And who is helping here? The wires, right? So there are cables attached on the aircraft carriers to stop the fighter just in time before they just fall down. Okay, nice. All right. And sometimes they also used the arresting net. But this one looks messy, no? Arresting net. It's literally like a net. A net which just stops the airplane. So this was also one of the technology used before. But yes, the cables are pretty much in use now also. All right. Nice. Let's see. Next one is not something which is unique, but something we all might have seen. It's just we might not have realized this. Have you noticed, whenever you switch the fan off, it does not stop suddenly. Although the current going to the fan stopped, right? It takes time. Why? Because of energy of motion. It was in motion and it is the property of a body to maintain the state of motion. That's why even if the force was stopped, this 
rotation continued but so then why did it stop because this internal friction that made it stop otherwise it would never stop it will just keep on rotating if this fan was in space it will just keep on rotating right why if there was no friction also as well right so right now who made it stop the air friction as well as the internal friction of the fan but if there was no friction no air drag and everything it would just keep on going right so why because inertia of motion makes it to just maintain its state of motion that's why it just doesn't stop the moment you turn the switch off it takes time right nice third one this is also very common but very interesting you might have seen these bells right they have a clapper the ganta we call it right tang tang right and there's a shell nice so normally what we do we use a rope right in any temple or anywhere else you use a rope and you just shake the rope to shake the clapper and the clapper just strikes the shell why because the shell is at rest you have made the clapper to move right so inertia of rest is in the shell but clapper is made to move it strikes the shell nice but you know what these are the smaller ones you know where is the bigger one it's in churches but the mechanism just differs a little why here notice we are not moving the clapper we are moving the shell you can notice this mechanism attached to the shell no so we are actually moving the shell the clapper is there why because ah uh, it's easy to move the shell over here with this mechanism right so ropes cannot move such a heavy clapper that's why the shell is moving but inertia of rest is in the clapper that's why it remains at its position but you move the shell so this is the clapper this is the shell you have moved the shell it just strikes right so it is the inertia of rest of the clapper and inertia of motion of the shell which makes these big bells to ring in churches we have these bells right nice all right this is another unusual example the last one moving bus which i think you might relate but first thing first don't try just jumping out from a running bus we all know that right we all know everybody says never ever to jump from a moving bus that's true now but you might see still if let's say some day some circumstances came and this happened people also say never jump out of a moving bus with your back facing towards the motion of the bus why why because your body is in a state of motion your body has inertia of motion while you are in the bus the moment you jump and, and just put your feet on the ground the feet becomes rest upper body still in motion so you are just ah oh, you are just pushed forward right the upper body is thrown forward what is the catch or how you can just save it because if you start running right the moment you just fall or just just drop from the bus you start running means you were you are bringing your body into motion equivalent to the bus means your whole body will not face this unproportional force right upper upper part is thrown down lower part is fixed so that's why you just start running and then jump from the bus or i would say jump from the bus and in mid air you just start moving your feet means you will take some time to slow down and then you will come to stop now sir why then people say that never to jump just with your back facing are you able to run backwards that efficiently as much as you are able to run forward no right that's why when you just drop from a bus which is moving this side you are fallen back but if you jump like this you have fallen forward so as humans we are more just uh, comfortable in uh, lifting ourselves up or running in a forward direction than the backward direction you can not favorable that's why we say always always drop down facing forward and just start bringing your body into motion mid air right when you are just putting your foot on the ground start running which means you won't feel this jerk right why because of inertia of motion your body was in motion it wants to stay in motion that's why you just said let's let me keep you in motion slowly slowly i bring you to rest and that's how we should do it right nice so this is the case of moving bus nice you can see it nicely right okay so let's summarize everything whatever we have learned aircraft carriers the arresting wires are used due to inertia of motion fans keep rotating due to inertia of motion as well bells use inertia of rest of the clapper right and run if you fall off a moving bus to preserve inertia of motion if you fall off it's not if you jump right don't jump if you fall off you know 
what to happen because you know the science behind it. All right, let me ask you one question now. What has more inertia, a steel or wooden ball of the same size? Let me know in the comment section. I want to see what you answer. All right, people, if you think this was a good video, if you think I gave you some extra information which the world might not know about it, it's not that common, then like this video. If you think this is helpful, share it and make sure you are a subscriber to the channel because then only you'll get to know whatever amazing things we are doing, right? Make sure you do these three things and rest will just take care of. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.